Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. The person that was with him every day. Mm -hmm. So I was like, man, I'm I'm gonna use basically myself as a promotional tool to keep him going, keep his name alive, and to keep things moving. Mm -hmm. and that's what I did. That's great. Speaking of that, um, QC, um, QCP, um, was it? Yeah, P made a video, and I'm paraphrasing. He said that man, um, you see these artists, they they start out with their manager, their first producer. And then they take off and they just leave them. Mm -hmm. uh, not saying that. Have you ever experienced that yet, or has it always been the same people you've been managing? Oh uh, no, nah, I managed a couple people, man. Like um, it was just trial and error, you know, just trying to learn the business and get in. And we all started on the ground floor. But the first artist that I ever managed was um Pyrex. He used to be with ABN. He was a white guy. He raps. Uh, cold, cold, cold guy. And um. You know, he um, had moved out of uh, state and, you know, different stuff or whatever. So we kind of like separated. But that was the first artist I ever managed. And then, uh, God rest his soul, EMG Santana. I used to manage him. And then um, I, I was always like in the music. Like, I used to rap myself. So so I, uh, I had a couple different deals on the table and everything. You know, my, uh, my uh, older brother, like my mentor, he like on the radio and everything and he rapped so it was like you know, I always been around the music and then I managed uh I started managing Slugger but how I started managing Slugger is crazy because I used to MC all the clubs and concerts and everything and I used to always see Slugger pulling up um he always had the foreign cars and stuff but nobody would ever like give him that attention like, I'm like, man, this man in here with the jewelry on, he got the nice designer clothes, all of that. But he's not getting the attention I felt like he deserved. Because he had good music. He had a great presence of people with him and everything. But he wasn't getting the type of respect I felt like he should have been getting. And I think it was just, um, just to be totally transparent and honest. We are in a business where if people see you have money, they gonna make you spend your money. Not to benefit you, but to benefit them. Mm -hmm. And that's what was going on. Like, he would pay to get on a show, like a big show, he'd get on the show, but then what comes after that? So I had saw him one day when I was at this club and he came up and he spoke to me and I was like, bro, it's time for us to have a talk. And he was like, uh, I was like, man, I wanna talk to you about some business. He was like, okay, cool. And then he spoke to my brother or whatever and then we, and then the, uh, I hit him. And I was like, bro, you, you ready to have a conversation? He was like, yeah. So I think he was trying to see how persistent that I was going to be. But he and I still had a mutual respect because I used to see him all the time. So I came um, and met up with him at the studio. And we had uh, Money Gang Empire Studios. I met him and uh, we got to talking. But he had, a other, he had another manager that was actually his friend. You know what I'm saying? But of course, when it's your friend, like they don't really know too much about the business. They just mm -hmm. trying to help you out. You know what I'm saying? The things of that nature. And that's what was going on, like just trying to help him out. But when he saw that I was actually business oriented, I had a lot of connections, um, you know, my name kind of held weight, if you if you will. He was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? He doing stuff that I'm not used to. Like I only got to ask him something one time and it's done. And he out there working without me having to micromanage him. Because one thing about Slugger, Slugger is going to work 10 times as hard as you work for him. Mm. But he just needed that direction. He needed that structure. So we just started to structure everything, and then we just started doing stuff too deep, like just me and him. Yeah, yeah. Cause when um, I came across you guys, I, I like even before we did the interview months ago, I had seen, him. I had been to that studio, but I didn't know what it was all about. I just came yeah. in and interviewed. I left, and it's like, dang, money game empire. Um, and when I when I think of it and how I envision it, when I see Houston. Of course, we got rap a lot and TSL doing their thing, 1501 doing their thing. We mm -hmm. know about Switch House, Rick Shop, and then like Money Game Empire was coming in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, well, I don't know what, what name is going to be or what's the what's the goal for the new brand now? Well, Slugger has a uh, exotic empire. He always has that. He actually has merch, um, exotic apparel mm -hmm. that's ran by his uh, little brother, Lil E. So E. 
Oh, actually has a clothing company. You know what I'm saying? 20 years old, clothing company. You know what I'm saying? So he, you know, orders online. He packages them himself. He ship them out. We do different pop-up shops and different things like that. You know, um, his mom has Mix and Mingle. She got a, a, her company as well. So it's just, we, we, we working, man. But uh, I just partnered with um, Chris, we Chris Reed. He does a lot of... Uh, uh, on the legal side, but he also does like a lot of major, major shows. Like he's booked um, this stuff with Beyonce them before. Mm -hmm. He's done a lot of major, major shows, and he manages a, a artist as well. So I so I've been knowing him forever though. Like that's one of my uh, my old school partners. Mm -hmm. And he was like, "Man, I need me a Swift." He was like, "But since Swift is available." I need your ass. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we yeah. started working. So we we're forming uh, SMG, which is Spotlight Music Group. Oh, that's the, that's the new that's the new thing. Yeah. So, but that's just he and I, co CEOs of that. And we're gonna uh, basically the two artists that I'm bringing to the table will be Slugger and Holly, and then um, you have um, Trap Johnny, uh, which is his artist. You know what I'm saying? So we just trying to focus on those uh, artists right now and, you know, putting that together.